Up until very recently, it's felt like my life has been dictated by a series of circumstances, rather than by any conscious choice. I know I can't be alone in this feeling. Inertia is a powerful force, after all. For Andy and I, the external force that changed everything was the absence of something. Distraction. COVID-19 took away the things that entertained us between long stints at the office. It created an emptiness that, once we were able to leave our apartment, we found was really better spent in nature than at a mall or a bar. That realization led us to thru-hike the John Muir Trail last summer. For 21 days, we walked more than 200 miles over some of the most rugged terrain in the country. And then, that realization led to something else. In pursuit of more time and more wide open spaces, we decided to uproot our entire lives and find a new home in the Pacific Northwest. We're trying to buy a house right now. Brittany's signing the paperwork as we speak. I just signed it. We're gonna give them all of our money. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, I'm signing. It's so many things. <laughs> Give me that. Take our money. Let's get the face shake for the meme. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're packing up. Headed to Oregon, trying to buy a house. I'm so excited, but I'm I'm nervous. I really want this house. I'm really sad. The foundation is crumbling, and we can't get any repairs. And just like that, we were on our way to a house we'd never seen. With fingers crossed, it would live up to our expectations. Went into the new house. We're in escrow. <laughs> it sounds so adult. Lucky for us, the foundation wasn't crumbling. And suddenly, we were the owners of an 100-year-old home, complete with a tiny house and an apple tree in the backyard. But this isn't really a story about buying a house. It's a story about embracing change and chasing the things that fill you up. Well, fam, we summited Mount Hood, and we've had an absolutely dream day. I'm at a loss for words. But it was the change in perspective that really took my breath away. Nature in the Pacific Northwest is all about change. For the first time in my life, my day-to-day -day experiences didn't blur together in an endless cycle of sunny days. I woke up to fresh snow outside. I saw spring come to life. I 
I stood in rivers up to my waist at 9 p.m. on a weekday in the hopes I'd catch a trout. not an accomplished uh, fish videographer. I miss the fish. <laughs> he got away before I could get to Andy's guy. <laughs> I look out the car window on the highway and it's snow-capped strata volcanoes that loom in the distance. It's been like nothing I've ever experienced. Just moved to Oregon and our realtor literally put a pin on Google Maps and said this is where you should go to find chanterelles. Um, so we drove to the middle of nowhere in Washington and we are going <laughs> to look for mushrooms. <laughs> Everywhere out here has mushrooms so this seems mushroom. I mean the undergrowth oh is like my God, so rich. Look at this. This is spectacular. Start mushrooming, second edition. And we watched a couple videos and like, as it turns out, there are a lot of false chanterelles. Here we are, the chanterelle. <laughs> White too? Yes. So if we cut it in half, I think the, the inside is white. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, those are definitely chanterelles. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sure, but it does have the bifurcating non fault the false gills, the bifurcating yeah. gills that split into two. Yes. I think you did, babe. I think you found some. That was so quick. <laughs> So they're also supposed to smell like apricots? Oh yeah, like semi-fruity? Smell really good and fresh. I can't believe it. Did we bring a bag? Yes, I brought the bag. Sick, good yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. You can do it, baby. The perils of foraging. Wrapping up, we're both a little hungry. We're heading back Forging to the car. Is hard work. Forging is hard work. You gotta get bring more snacks. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely out here. First adventure in the Pacific Northwest is a huge success. Ah. Yeah. All day. Earlier, I found a uh, little centipede in my pocket, so <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh. <sighs> No one place is perfect for everyone, and no place is perfect. But for Andy and I right now, the Pacific Northwest is where we want to be. It already feels like home. See you in the next adventure. <laughs>